Now, every week I sit here offering my advice as a professional photographer, but today is a little bit different because I'm going to give you the advice from five other top professional photographers, and each one of them has got a great little tip which I'm going to relay to you. Now, each of these photographers have generously shared their knowledge and experience with our members, revealing everything from their techniques to hilarious tales of lions in bathrooms or celebrities slamming the door in their face. And I've collated some of the best advice these professionals have shared for you to enjoy in this video. So tip number one comes from top architectural photographer, Sean Conboy, who was a guest on our show. And that was the importance of planning. Now planning, as you've heard me say many times before, is an important part of the photographic process. Whether you're shooting portraits or products, um, it's really important to get your planning nailed down. But for architectural photographer Sean Conboy, planning is particularly important. It's an area of photography that is particularly weather dependent. So planning is absolutely vital for Sean if he's to make the most of his shooting time. Now, Sean, who's a British photographer, looks at every little detail, including where the sun will be at a particular time, what angle it will be, what time of year it is, whether it will hit or enter a building at a certain angle, strike an object a certain way, and he tries to plan ahead as much as possible. Now, uh, Sean's words, his quote was, be there in advance, have your shot planned, get everything set, and wait for that magic moment. That right moment is going to get your picture. It might only be 10% better than someone else's picture, but it's still 10% better. Now that is a great little quote and a great little bit of advice to take away with you. To see more of Sean's work, visit his website, which we're bringing up on screen now. You can check out some of his great architectural images. Now, tip number two, comes from top celebrity portrait photographer, Tom Oldham. Now, Tom said, know the technical. Now, award-winning portrait photographer, Tom Oldham, shared his top five portrait photography tips with us, um, joining me in the studio during his live interview. But one particular point came up during the show. And this simple piece of advice, which may seem obvious, is the key to any good shoot. Tom said, know the technical so you can focus on the relationship. And I think that's a great bit of advice because in a field where building relationships uh, often for a very limited period of time, uh, it's so important that you know your kit, you know how it works, you know how to get the best from it. That's absolutely essential because that will allow you to set up very quickly help ensure that the session runs smoothly, and it means that you'll be free to focus on getting the best shot without worrying about your equipment and other specifics. Now, you can see more of Tom Oldham's fabulous work on his website, which is on screen right now, so check out that if you wanna see some great celebrity and portrait photography. Tip number three comes from fashion photographer Daria Belakova. Her advice was to stick to your own style. Now, since taking her first photograph at the age of 15, Russian fashion photographer Daria Belakova has had a dark, ethereal style throughout her imagery, and it's this very style that makes her work so distinguishable. Her tutors at the London College of Fashion were convinced it was just a phase that she was going through and something that she would grow out of. But Daria has in fact worked very hard to stay true to herself and to her style. And it's something that she feels every photographer should also do. And her quote was, with photography, you put a little bit of your soul into it. And I love that little quote from her because it really is quite deep when you actually think about it. This sometimes results in some uh, give and take when it comes to commercial work, but that young Daria Belakova fashion photographer is not about to change her look or style for anyone. Now to see more of Daria's great work, visit her website, which I've got up on screen now, and uh, you can absorb some of that really dark, mysterious, ethereal style photography that she uh, undertakes.
Tip number four comes from top advertising and product photographer, Jonathan Knowles. Jonathan was another guest on our live talk shows, and he said to consider your portfolio. Now, from the first moment you land on Jonathan Knowles website, it's very clear that his area of expertise is in advertising and product photography. This is very deliberate. Um, the collection of images that he puts in front of you. It tells you exactly what Jonathan specializes in and by default, the kind of work that he wants to do. Now, Jonathan's uh, tip was include work in your portfolio for which you'd like to be commissioned. Now that may sound obvious, but for example, if you're interested in product photography, uh, but you specialize in liquids, make sure you include a variety of splash liquid images right up there at the front of your portfolio, because this allows potential clients to see your work, what you're good at and see your style. And the award-winning photographer and creator of the famous O2 bubble images acknowledged that building uh, this sort of portfolio doesn't happen overnight. So he advised that it was worth starting with smaller clients first or even shooting for yourself and then building it up from there. Now you can also visit Jonathan's amazing website and see more of his work right here at uh, Jonathan's site. Tip number five, from uh, world-renowned fine art and animal photographer Tim Flack was take the viewer on a journey. Now renowned for his artistic studio portraits of animals, Tim Flack's images are immediately recognizable. His eye-catching images, whether they're birds in the studio or horses in the wild on location, have a very distinctive style that encourages us to reflect on how we connect with the natural world. Now for Tim, one of the main objectives in his work is to take the viewer on a journey. And to do this, he uses very deliberate post-production techniques and lighting techniques to guide the viewer's eye. And what Tim's quote was, was, I borrow approaches to image management that have been around for a very long time. These are only tonal changes I'm making, but to say only tonal changes is not giving them credit. Now that's really, really important because what Tim is trying to explain there is how he guides the viewer's eye through an image to take them on that visual journey. Now you can see more about Tim's wonderful work on his website at timflack.com, or you can come and see Tim and myself in person with our wonderful annual workshop called A Visual Journey, which I'm bringing up on screen now. And you can see more information about that particular workshop uh, on this particular page here uh, on our Carl Taylor Education platform. Now, those were five top tips from five top professional photographers, but we have lots and lots of different guests on our live talk shows throughout the year on carltaylereducation.com, and they're all available on replay. So go over there and check some of those out. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and why not subscribe to our channel? Remember to click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.